From September 2013, two-year-olds from 20% most disadvantaged families will be eligible for 15 hours of free early education a week. So any family that would be eligible for free school meals will be eligible for their two-year-old offer and be able to have a place in a children's centre or a nursery or a child mother for their two-year-old. Some people do think that two-year-olds are quite challenging, that when they come to us it's going to be quite a challenge, but actually, you know, each child is unique. We meet them at the point of their uniqueness. They come into us and we take, we take them from the baseline and move them on. The two-year-old pilots, the first thing was that we needed to get very organised. It was no good working on our own. We had to work in partnership and de develop relationship with other professionals, with the providers and actually with the parents. We needed the parents to know about it and to be enthused about it so that they would actually apply for places for their children. We work very clo closely in partnership with other organisations here, um, health visitors, uh, midwives, we have uh, worked with even doctors that we have on site also, um, and family workers. And basically at, here at the Children's Centre, they see a lot of families that actually come to our nursery. Um, and yeah, the whole cycle just works because it, we just see the improvement on the lives of children. The benefits that we see is that it really helps the children's socialisation, their emotional development um, is enhanced and also their speech and language skills. A lot of families that need support, you know, if they're, if they're struggling in parenting they might need support with boundary setting and the nurseries and, you know, the children's centre staff can help support families with that. I think the benefit for us as a children's centre is that the families get a holistic service. We, we are in a fortunate position of being co-located with both our health visiting team and having an on-site nursery, but we do work with other preschools in the area as well. We can all work together very closely to make sure that that family's needs are met in a comprehensive way. The PVI groups were actually very enthusiastic in Luton from the start because for a lot of them it was they were going through financial challenges anyway and this was a way of actually getting some more funds in and funded children, you're not it, in some respects it's easier than having fee paying children because you know the money's coming in as long as the children keep attending. I'd have to say there weren't many major challenges because we were already set up to work with two year olds. It was just the fact that we've had a, big, a bigger group of two year olds. So it was more about thinking have we got the right resources for the children. We, we noticed that we needed some more IT equipment um, and do things like that role play we didn't have an awful lot of things for, for the dressing up. So we. We um, bought some more things like that, but also we bought in a lot of things from homes because bags and shoes and, and dressing up things can easily be found. It's not terribly expensive. We do try to teach parents ways of doing things that don't cost a lot of money. You know, ways to sort of do um, activities with their children at home with things that you just find around the home. We try to do it ourselves in our activities. Junk modelling is a huge favourite. Um, with everyone and it doesn't, it costs hardly anything. Anything that we'd recommend to our parents we would make sure it can be bought on a budget or can be made. For instance, if you've got a child that's not good at listening you could make some, some listening bottles out of old um, drink bottles, water bottles, things like that and you can put different sounds in them to encourage them to listen in different ways. Okay. Uh, we accept quite a few children here for the two year funding um, they come to us uh, once they're eligible and we, we, use, you know, we do observations, we do home visits just like any other child starting our nursery. Um, but it's interesting because we, we tend to see the areas of need very early in these two-year-olds and again most two-year-olds have, uh, have contact with a health visitor. Mm. So again with that exchange of information, looking at what they need from the health visitor as well as educationally, we then start the programme of learning for that child. And we find the two-year-olds, they, they come on in leaps and bounds. Once they started with us, they, a lot of them do come from disadvantaged backgrounds. Sometimes they do have needs, sometimes it's just the parents that actually need that extra support. I don't think a family's background necessarily means that a two-year-old is going to be particularly difficult. All our families come from different backgrounds and we try to fit in with their individual needs, their independent needs and try to accommodate everybody as much as possible. But there are very few problems highlighted because we work with people as they go along so anything is picked up as we go along. The space that we had in Fox Cubs was three separate rooms with a wall dividing each room. 
we decided that to create the best environment for two-year-olds, one large room that we could partition off if we ever needed to, would be a really good way forward. And now we've got a bigger room, one complete big room, where we can offer all the facilities for the, for the two-year-olds, and they can access um, the painting, the creative play, the mod, all the play-doh, they can have a role play, they can have construction, everything all at the same time rather than having to take it away and put it back in again. So they, it creates independence for them, it's, it's a bigger room, it doesn't feel quite so claustrophobic for them, lots more room. We've also got the, um, a, a gated air garden, and in the gated garden they can sort of be in and out at the same time, and then when they're a bit bigger and a bit more confident they can go out into the big playground and join the other children if they want to as well, or they can have a small group on their own. Okay, so here at this nursery we have an open plan two to five room, okay, children from two years to five years. Initially when we moved in here we didn't think it would work, we were a bit sceptical that it would actually work. Um, but being here we found that the younger children, they basically levitate to the older ones and they mix really well. The older children have the understanding that, you know, they have to look after the younger children in terms of, you know, we find that development is really good for pushing the two-year-olds up and bringing them on. Her confidence is better and her, I guess, social skills really, like before she would, she didn't get her own way, she'd push and shove, whereas now she still does that a little bit, but, but less and less. Yeah, I think she's progressed really well, her speech has come really clear, the nursery lets me know how she's been during the day, they'll let me know on her progress throughout the term, and at the parents' evenings I get to see her folder, they give me work to send home with her, what she's done throughout the day, they let me know um, how much she's eaten and what she's done during the day, and how well she's progressing. We can run the nursery easily because we've staffed it, so that we staff the staff for term time only, and the majority of our children are term time only, um, so th and, they, and they work within the core hours, so we, uh, we don't staff anything outside the, the time that the children come, and that's, that's how we keep it sustainable. I'd say the two-year developmental assessment is crucial. Um, we've only just started implementing it now with the Healthy Child Programme, and it, it really does show that if a child doesn't have the early stimulation, when they're born even, it's going to be really difficult for that child in later years when they're growing up. They really need to have that, that learning and that emotional support from a very early age, and the parents need to be supported to give that. The nursery is an ideal place you know, for, to support the family with that.